Are you ready to take your organization to the next level and become a game changer in your industry? Then look no further. Welcome to Yokai Business Show, where we bring you the world's top business thought leaders to share their secrets to success, from leadership development to finance, marketing, self-development, human resource management, and much, much more. Our guests reveal the strategies, tactics, and mindsets that have made them so successful. So let's dive in and learn from the best in the business. Hello, hello, and welcome to the greatest show on planet Earth. I love to say that. Uh, thanks again for joining us here on The Business Show. We truly honor you and love having you here. And thank you. There's so much happening in the community, and you are part of that community, spreading the word uh, out there. Truly appreciate you. And today, we have another special guest, and we are going to find out how our guests who got started, some of the things that they, they did, and perhaps, in fact, I'll tell you the reason why we, t we, we take time to talk about how others got started, what are their success, because we can learn from other people's failures, you know that, and we can also learn from other people's success. We can also learn about other people's stumbling blocks or those are blockages are wrong way. So we are, are going to have a great, great time. Now, before I introduce our guests here today. I want to encourage you, if you're not yet already part of our, our community, you need to become part of the community. It's very easy. There is a link below this uh, recording that you just click and you'll be taken straight to the community. And once you are in there, don't be an spectator. Be a participant. Ask questions. Talk about what's working for you. If you've got any questions uh, of, uh, that you need help with, ask we are on the same uh, or same ship. We want to do the same things. We, we all want to succeed. We all want to do very well. We all want to contribute. We all want to be loved. Let's go and make it happen in there. Well, enough of that. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining us here today. And I know there's a, a, a few people that don't know uh, your background, uh, you know, or your education or your experience in this area. Could you? Could you please tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got started, what you've done, some of the people you've helped, uh, and why our conversation here is relevant. Uh, and perhaps you could just add in there the last one, were you an overnight success? <laughs> uh, if not, what is it that you did uh, that has kept you on the path, uh, you know, for you to become the excep exceptional success that you are? today. Hello, yes, I'd love to start off by introducing myself. My name is Jay Edwards Holt. I'm an Amazon best-selling author. Um, I'm an author of mostly fantasy fiction, and I also write a little bit in the religious genre, as well as writing regularly for a health and wellness magazine. I'm glad to be on the show today. As uh, for your first question, it says, uh, when did you get started? I have been writing off and on, um, probably since I was in, or definitely since I was in elementary school. Uh, but my, I started working on my first book in um, about 2016. I decided to go ahead and write my first book, and I ended up publishing that um, in 2017. I have uh, definitely had a lot of interesting experiences um, in the field of uh, publishing my books and, and writing and selling books. And so um, I would definitely give the advice to, you know, anyone looking to uh, sell books or to, you know, to start a small business of any kind, for sure that, you know, um, there are a lot of things you need to be aware of, um, like personal branding. Um, you need to be um, ready to advertise. You need to make your content um, relatable and relevant, and there's some more of that I'll touch on later. As far as being, was I an overnight success? No, certainly not. I, um, you know, a lot of people publish a book expecting to be an overnight success, but most of the time that's just not how it goes. And so, you know, it, it took a lot of, it took a lot of learning experiences, a lot of sort of uh, falling and getting back up when it comes to uh, learning the ways of the publishing industry and you know, how to write better. And it, it was certainly, 
it's certainly been a journey, a journey that for me began in 2017 when I published my first book. Um, so it, it, ever since then, it's been a journey. And, and even at this point, I would say that I am still learning as I go. Wow. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. Love that. You know, I, I, I appreciate uh, what you just shared there because, you know, I can see myself in there and in some of those things. In fact, I don't know, maybe just me, you know, in talking to so many people, I find that there is some similarities in uh, what uh, all of us as entrepreneurs or business owners uh, go through. And this, again, helps anybody who's coming into our world uh, to find out that, that whatever they're going through is not quite unique to them. It happens to all of us. It's, uh, it's a journey that we all go through. Uh, let's talk about uh, some of the roadblocks that you had to face uh, earlier on and how you overcame them. The roadblocks that I faced from the beginning, I guess, were, you know, it, um, like most writers, you know, I had a story that I wanted to tell and I had it written, but I knew very little about, uh, you know, publishing books or the industry itself. And Certainly, it was a learning experience. Um, you know, uh, my first book, it was going to be published through a publishing company, but something happened with that publishing company and, and they uh, went bankrupt or something like that. And so I was forced then to, to self-publish my work. And that's when I kind of got familiar with the process of self-publishing and chose to, to go that route from here on out. And I think that, you know, for as far as roadblocks, I would say that you know, definitely learning the ins and outs, you know, learning, you know, that it's not just about having um, a good story. It's about lots of things like how you present the story. It's about how you present the book, how you market your book, you know, um, cover design, all those kinds of things, you know. And um, so I would say that, you know, some of the roadblocks I hit were definitely just being hit with things I didn't know. But overall, those roadblocks have really taught me to, I think, be a better writer and a better author overall. Awesome. And did you have any tools or resources that you used earlier on uh, in this area? I, I started off by, you know, reaching out to some people who had, who had already uh, been in the publishing industry a little bit. Um, and, you know, they, they were helpful in giving me tips on how to um, overcome the early obstacles and, you know, get started on the publishing um, route. And, you know, aside from that, Google was very helpful. I did a lot of Google searches on how to do things, um, a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to do various things, how to format books, how to, how to format cover designs, things like that. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I would say I... I really leaned on uh, the people that I knew that had already published, and I leaned even more so on uh, Google searches and YouTube tutorials. I think I know the answer to my next question here, but for the benefit of everybody listening, especially my dear friend Bill uh, over there, uh, <laughs> Bill, don't, don't worry. Uh, I'm sorry I'm putting you on the spot there, brother, but uh, uh, <laughs> let's just dive deep. Did you? have any early mentors uh, or did you figure out all this by yourself? You know, I, I really didn't have a lot of people to um, mentor me in the beginning. Um, you know, it, it was really, um, I did know one or two people that had published books before, um, but a lot of these people were not self-published. So, you know, they didn't know the ins and outs of, of that business, but um, you know, essentially I was on my own to do it. You know, I pretty much, um, as I said before, I relied on, you know, Google searches and doing, uh, and watching YouTube tutorials. Um, occasionally I would reach out to some people on, to some experts online that would offer some great advice on, you know, how to, uh, do different things in the publishing business. But, you know, essentially I, I, I started, I started it alone. I thought you would say that uh, because I personally uh, had both. I uh, had uh, the mentors, which I'm so grateful. Some of them are now my friends uh, at this stage. Uh, and the funny thing is I'm also their mentor on certain aspects of things. So there is, it's, it's a fun world that we live in because, you know, they mentor me on one aspect of, of business and I mentor them now 
on another aspect of business because you cannot know everything in the world of business. That's why you need mentors, you need advisors, uh, all people who have got different expertise. So I love what you've just shared there. And also, I had to discover certain things myself. Uh, you just have to go in there and you know that, okay, this works and this doesn't. So a combination of the two uh, has worked uh, specifically uh, for me. Uh, let's talk about your first major breakthrough in this area. How did it come about and uh, what did it do for you in your own belief uh, about your abilities and uh, perhaps in this concept? I, I would definitely say that one of the the first great experiences I had with the publishing industry was when I when I finally got the hang of just um, you know not only writing but publishing the books and you know getting the cover design right and everything and one of the most important things that happened with me was just the the good reception I received um, for my first book you know I was I was very surprised because as a first time author I didn't have you know a lot of experience and i didn't really know what people were going to think um and you know once it received such positive feedback i decided to go ahead and and write some more and i just think that yeah that was it was very encouraging to get that first round of positive feedback and it's really just kept me going this whole time so how long did it take you to get to where you are today how long well you know i would say that it, it's really taken me hmm, you know the the whole uh six years that i've been published to get to where i am today it's um you know it, it's it's been a learning experience um you know i feel like every time i publish a book or and write a book i, I learn something new every time you know i feel like i'm still learning new stuff every day about how to publish and so, you know, I would say it's taken me this entire time, um, ever since I published my first book, to, to get where I am today. You know, every experience, whether large or small, has, has really influenced my journey as an author, and it's helped me to grow as an author. I've discovered that uh, people understand a certain concept through stories. And I'm wondering, is there any one particular story or example you would like to share that really sums up your early experience uh, in this area. Yeah, certainly. You know, as I said before, I, I had a bad experience with a publisher early on in my author journey. And, you know, I think that was um, an experience that, that really, it seemed like a bad thing at the time, but it turned out to be um, a blessing in disguise because after that, I was forced to, you know, either seek out another publisher or self-publish. And I decided to self-publish. And, and with the self-publishing, there was a lot to learn. And I learned things that, that I'm very glad that I learned. You know, I think it was, a, it was not a great experience, you know, being burnt out by a publishing company. But it really kind of forced me to, to fly on my own, essentially. And I'm, I'm very glad that it happened because over the years, I have learned so much about publishing and marketing and branding and all that stuff. It seemed like a bad thing at the time, but I'm actually very thankful for that early experience. Indeed. I'm just uh, wondering, how is the world uh, in this area different now than when you got started? Because I can imagine uh, that things are quite different from when you started back then. You know, the writing industry is changing all the time. I think it's, it's changed uh, quite a bit since since I first started. I, um, I know that when, when I first started writing, there was uh, much more of a stigma towards um, self-published authors. It was in self-published books, there, were, there was a lot more disregard for books published in that way. But I've noticed over the years, just over the last six years, that you know, uh, self-publishing has become uh, much more popular. Um, self-published books are you know, doing a lot better than they used to. You know, people are putting more care into those self-published books. You know, I think the writing industry is is a lot more open now. It's a lot more, I'd say it's a lot more accepting of all different kinds of writing, all different kinds of people. You know, at times the writing industry has been somewhat snobby about different things, but I think certainly that things are improving in that regard, you know, with more accepting of self-publishing. And, um, you know, all different types of authors coming up and publishing. And we got 
much more diverse content now than we did years ago. And so I, I think that the writing industry has, has changed for the better in that regard. I'm curious, uh, if you had to start all over again in this area, in today's world, uh, with today's tools, time constraints, which you all have, and other factors, what would you do perhaps differently, uh, more of, uh, or perhaps even less of, uh, or maybe uh, faster? What would you do different? Or maybe you would not do at all. I'm curious if you could help us maybe uh, paint a better picture of what we can expect now. Well, um, you know, it's it's hard to say that I would really do anything differently. Um, you know, I, I guess probably in the beginning I, I would have, you know, done more research into publishing companies and the publishing process before I started because I really, you know, went into it not knowing a lot about publishing. So I had to learn as I went along. So I would say maybe if I could do anything differently, I may have, you know, just educated myself a little more on the publishing industry and the writing industry as a whole, you know, b before I got started. As far as more of, I, you know, I, like I said, just would have done, you know, more research, maybe uh, made some more connections. Less of, I would say that a as a new author, I was very obviously excited to get my book out and I kind of just you know, went with the first thing that would get it published and it turned out to be the wrong, uh, you know, company or whatever. But I would say that I definitely would have tried to be less eager and, and made more calculated and sound decisions. That's brilliant. Thank you. And uh, in your opinion, where should uh, people like me, business owners, focus their efforts if they want to succeed uh, in both the short term and the long term? Well, I think, you know, um, with, with writing, just like with any business, you know, it's, it's all about focusing your efforts on, you know, your customers or your, uh, your customers, your readers, you know, it's about knowing what your clients want. It's about targeting your clients and making specific plans tailored to them, you know, listening to their feedback, you know, and, ju and just understanding their wants and needs so that you can provide what they want. Awesome. I, I'm a great believer in uh, in tools, uh, you know, be it uh, online or offline to help speed the whole thing. In your, uh, uh, your experience or in your professional uh, expertise, what sort of tools would you recommend that business owners like me uh, need to use or perhaps just know about? I would say, you know, there, there are a lot of tools available to those of us in the writing industry. You know, obviously the internet is, is a great way to, to do research and to, you know, look up information and understand uh, your target, target audience and, you know, just get an idea of, of what people want. And, you know, as far as offline, I think that a, a great tool for the writing industry is getting out there in the community and uh, getting to know your clients or your readers, you know, presenting yourself, deciding what you want to be and presenting yourself as that. And, um, you know, making yourself known in the community is very important um, so that, you know, your name will be synonymous with writing or, or whatever business it is that you do. Um, I think it's very important to, to get out there and engage um, with others. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> this is incredible. Uh, love those tools. Absolutely wonderful. Now, let's talk about uh, time management, because one of the things that we struggle with as business owners, especially at the level that we, we are playing on, and I know many of you, our listeners here do the same thing, is having a very good time management. Uh, and would you have any tips for time management when it comes to this area? When it comes to writing, you know, you, you want to to try and write as, as often as you can um, to to hone your craft and to, you know, uh, become better at it and everything. And I think that certainly, you know, um, if you have a chance to write, you should write. And, you know, if it's if it's not a good day for you to do it, you should just 
you know, take a step back and do it another day. You know, when it comes to promotion and, you know, just um, working in the writing industry, I say, you know, take your time. Don't don't expect um, <clears throat> don't expect anything to to just happen magically overnight. You know, it, it's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of work and you're going to have to put in a lot to to get anything out. Where would you get uh, perhaps uh, news or updates uh, uh, about this area that, you know, Bill in our audience uh, and anybody uh, listening that you perhaps trust or the people you trust that we can uh, put in our black book, so to speak? <laughs> yeah, everybody knows about the black book that we, we have here. In your experience, where would you get your, your updates in this area and the news of what is happening in this, in this world? You can learn a lot about different things in the writing industry on the internet. You can uh, certainly connect with people on there. You know, YouTube, TikTok, all these um, outlets have various ways for you to learn, you know, tips and tricks and, and all that. And um, as far as, you know, I would say if you do know someone in the writing industry, you know, reach out to them, make some connections in the writing industry and reach out to those who may be more experienced than you and and certainly get some advice from them. You know, when I have a question, I'll either reach out to the people that I know in the writing industry or I will, um, you know, go to uh, various websites, um, you know, writing tips or Google, anything like that. Awesome. Incredible. I'll have to check those ones out. Uh, do you think it's easier today uh, or harder for new business owners like, uh, you, you know, Maria was talking to earlier on today, starting out than it was uh, for you when you got started. Uh, and if it is, you know, why? Or maybe why not? <laughs> yes. I would say it's definitely harder uh, for, for, for new business owners or, you know, even for new authors um, nowadays when getting started. But it's harder because of you know the economic climate and it and everything. And um, but I would say in a way it's also easier because nowadays you have you have a lot more resources. You have a lot more ways to to reach out to people and make connections. And I think that that people are um, a lot more supportive of small businesses than than they have been in the past. You know, it's important to to be around people that will support your business or support your writing and just like with with any other with any other type of profession i believe awesome uh we are just coming toward the end of our time here together and uh you know i always like to ask this question probably my listeners have had me ask this many many times and it is uh what final thoughts do you have to help be, motivate business owners to get started or take action right now and move their lives and their business to the next level. You know, a lot of good things only come after you take a risk. You know, we, we say that, you know, you really can't uh, make change if you're in your comfort zone. So, you know, I, I would advise, you know, those wanting to start a small business or, uh, you know, those wanting to get involved in the writing industry, you know, go for it. Uh, definitely go for it. You know, be optimistic, be smart about, you know, your investments and what you do and how you use your time. As I said, be optimistic, but, but don't be unrealistic. You know, don't expect everything to work out perfectly or to, to go exactly as you planned because there, there will be setbacks. And I think that your character is defined by, you know, how you react to those setbacks versus whether or not you have any setbacks. And so I would, you know, I would say overall, just be optimistic, be positive, Go at it with good energy. Expect that you will fall sometimes. Just plan to get up. Outstanding. Well, thank you so much for a great interview. And I know there will be people listening today that would love to connect with you uh, and really get perhaps uh, to, to explore some of the aspects that we did not manage to talk about in, in this episode. Uh, where can they connect with you? Where can they find you? Uh, have you got a website or is, is it just social media? Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me on the show. It's, it's been a great honor. A little bit more about myself and my website. Uh, my name is J. Edwards Holt. I'm an Amazon bestselling author. Most of what I write is young adult fantasy fiction. 
but I also write in the uh, religious genre as well as writing regularly for a health and wellness magazine. Anybody who wants to find out more about me can do a Google search for J. Edwards Holt or you can visit jedwardsholt.com. That's J-E-D-W-A-R-D-S-H-O-L-T.com. Um, you can learn all you need to learn about me um, by doing that. Also, if you're interested in, in looking up any of my books, you can find books by J. Edwards Holt, you know, just about anywhere books are sold, especially Amazon. But before I leave, I'd like to leave, um, you know, anyone who is looking to get in the writing industry, I'd like to leave them with just a few tips, um, some advice on, you know, how to uh, work with author branding and promote your books. The first thing I would say is know your target audience and write for them. Don't try to please everyone or write what you think is popular. Write what you're passionate about and what your readers will enjoy. Also, build an online platform and a loyal fan base. Use social media, blogs, podcasts, newsletters, and other channels co to connect with your potential readers and share your work. Engage with them regularly. Engagement is key. And offer them values, such as sneak peeks, giveaways, behind the scenes, etc. Invest in professional editing, design, and marketing. Don't skimp on the quality of your book or its presentation. Hire a professional editor to polish your manuscript, a designer to create an eye-catching cover and layout, and a marketer to promote your book effective. Marketing is key. That's very important. Uh, seek reviews and endorsements from influencers and experts um, in the genre or niche of your book. You know, reach out to bloggers, podcasters, journalists, celebrities, or anyone who has a large following or authority in your field. Ask them to read your book and provide honest feedback or testimonial. Use their quotes and logos on your book cover, website, and marketing materials. And lastly, experiment with different formats and platforms. Don't limit yourself to one format or one distribution channel. Consider publishing your book as an ebook, paperback, hardcover, audiobook, etc., and selling it on various platforms such as Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Kobo, Apple Books, etc. You can also use services like BookBub or BookFunnel to reach more readers and grow your email list. There, I leave any aspiring writers or current writers. Um, with some tips that I've written down and benefited from over the years. Hope that it helps someone along the way. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what a great conversation we've just had here today. And as we always say, you know, never leave a place of discovering a new concept, idea, or a new way of doing things without scheduling a time when you're going to be implementing that. And the reason we do that is because when you schedule something, it is now known, uh, proven, that when it's scheduled, it is going to happen. And again, this is a coaching session. When you find yourself not doing what you had scheduled to do, you may want to find the reason behind not following through. Because not following through in that area, that thing that is stopping you from following through, could be stopping you from following through on other areas of your life that you need to deal with right now. And once you find that reason why, you'll be able to follow through on all areas of your life that you want to achieve. So again, make sure you, you circle that and do everything you can do. And one of the things that we've put in place to help you make sure you follow through is the community. And I know uh, many of you are already part of the community right now, but if you're not yet a member of the community, can I ask you, just click the link below and you'll be taken to uh, an account where you create your own account. Download the app onto your phone and just dive in and start talking to other people and ask your questions and begin to help other people as well. And coming back to you, would you uh, tell uh, people uh, how you will be participating in the community to help uh, or maybe answer some of the questions that people may have? I think uh, it will be great for everybody to know that you will be participating in, uh, in the group. Uh, in the community that we have uh, in there. And um, I will let you uh, finish off with that in a minute. But uh, for you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you need help and assistance, you know what to do. Until next time, live well, live with passion, know that the best is truly, I believe it is truly yet to come. Bye-bye.
Thank you for tuning in to your Kai Business Show. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode and have gained valuable insights and inspiration from our amazing guest. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review to help us spread the word. Also, be sure to check out our Leadership Outmate Success Mastermind program, which is designed to help you and leaders in our community to do great things and support each other along their leadership journey. Until next time, live well, live with passion, know that the best is truly yet to come. Thank you.